So when life is getting hard, there is no alternative for me than to just keep going. It's not just about the physicality and the fact of that we are, that we are training martial art movements. In the first place, it is also to condition myself to a certain vibe that I'm carrying throughout this life. You guys asked for it, so here we are with Master Shihang Yi's training routine. This is an exact look at his training routine and how it works for his body, what it gives him, and maybe why some of you guys should try it out too. Today's video was sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food that I absolutely love, and it has everything that your body needs. Use code Jordan Mulligan 10 at checkout for a discount if you use the link in the description. But before that, Master Shahangi's training routine. Let's dive into it, it's a fun one. So I wake up in the morning, after then having a short five minute, 10 minute, just like sitting calm, sitting still. So when I come into my office, you maybe saw there is one meditation pillow on the carpet. I just sit down, close my eyes, put my hands into the center, focus on the breathing, and five minutes, 10 minutes, just like arrive. Meaning, because when I'm sitting, there is no physical activity going on. So, which means that you are not moving in a way, the eyes can also be shut. For me, the advantage of doing these things, what is nowadays maybe known as meditative practices, is that you have consciously actually shut down the senses of the body. So once the senses of the body, your inside world with the outside world is in a way not connected anymore, or there are no disturbances, that means you can be very, very, you can be very intimate with the world of your thoughts. You actually literally see the thoughts coming and, and also realize if you keep a thought, if a thought is more easy to let go, if other thoughts come despite the fact you want to let them go, they still try to stay. You realize such subtleties about your mind. And the reason why I sit sometimes five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, is just in order to make it blank. Just to blank it out. Until for myself, I feel like, okay, now it's just, I'm completely in, uh, it feels like you're constantly in observation mode. You're just, you're just observing, you are not, an actor inside of there anymore. If you catch a thought, this is what I would regard as now you're becoming an actor. You're starting now to play your movie. But being in observation mode, you don't really care what type of movie is now gonna, gonna happen. You're just observing. So this is the state where I wait until this hits in. So and afterwards, have my first cup of tea just to start warming up the organs and then just heading upwards and in case Xiao Shen is awake then we train together if he's not there I train alone you know because this type of training is now another it's another let's say it's it's another chapter within the day where actually I am priming and I'm conditioning myself to yeah, let's say to strengthen a certain principles, to strengthen certain principles that I know will help me afterwards throughout the rest of the day. Which is like, don't give up. Just like as an example. I don't know what type of email is gonna come in. I don't know how many appointments I'm still gonna have, let's say, on that day. The point is like this. Once I have an appointment, once I have something on my schedule, there is no way for me to give up and not appear there. So, and similar like this, I'm already saying to myself, this morning training is now like the small preparation. Because what I'm doing is all the time, I, you start slowly, of course, to warm yourself up, but then you push yourself. You push yourself to that point where you feel 
that thought is coming back, it's time to rest. And when the mind says it's time to rest, that's the point to keep going. That is, that is that threshold which is going to make the difference afterwards. So discovering your limits on the one side is the first thing. Discovering it is the first step. Because discovering your limits means you have a vision about what you can do and at the same time the limit is showing you what you cannot do at the moment. We are still in the field of martial arts of course right now. Okay, but so using this training in the morning is not just about the physicality and the fact of that we, are, that we are training martial art movements. In the first place, it is also to condition myself to a certain vibe that I'm carrying throughout this life. And what is that vibe? That vibe is, I don't know what this life is going to bring, but there is no alternative then when the challenge comes, when life is getting hard, there is no alternative for me than to just keep going. But where can I, from where can I pull the strength? From where do I have this energy in order to move, to keep going, when already you feel exhausted, when it's already hard? Well, it's because I do it every day already for one hour exactly the same thing happening, but using my body in that sense. Conditioning my body, bringing my body to the limit, and then by doing so, cultivating the mindset. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Today's video was powered by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food that has everything that your body needs. I have been using it for the past two years whilst we're on film set, whilst I've been training for the world record at the stone. When I know that I'm traveling and I'm not gonna have that much time to prepare a good meal as a vegan, as a plant-based athlete, to know I can reach into my bag and grab something that has all the energy, nutrients, and protein source that I need has been an absolute game changer. So that's why I've been using Huel for so long and also that's why I'm so happy to announce that Huel are the sponsor of the channel this year. So check out the link in the description to find out more and more products from them with that link. Use code JordanMulligan10 at checkout for a discount. And yeah, let me know how you get on with your Huel orders. Let's dive back into the interview. And now what type of uh, what type of exercises or, or methods or content now we are using for ourselves? Let's say you see we have the we have the the big bag, and we have all the hardening materials. So everything that you see in this room at the end, it's it is the tools that after spending more than thirty years along the way of martial arts. I have personally decided for myself, this is the basics that I think for me is already, let's say, good. Meaning, martial art training without having a back, something's missing. Martial art training without conditioning your body, something is missing. Martial art training without walking your forms, something is missing. So, because I have seen many different martial arts styles, because I have met many different masters, teachers in the field of martial arts, that's why I can, of course, coming from the past, in a way, compare myself to others. Sensing, feeling, seeing what do other martial artists have and what maybe I have. And then I'm a little bit maybe uh, I'm a little bit stuck maybe on old movies or anything like this, but it's really similar, like, how you call yeah, with all the Marvel movies. It's like everybody has special skills. The question for you is, this life is so unique, what type of special skill set, so more skills together, would you like to incorporate into your life? 
it's not that everybody needs to be able to do the same things. Of course, there's a fundamental basis, but ultimately it is also the martial art training, the Kung Fu. It's an expression of your very individual, personalized life. And this is why I use the tools that I use. I do the training as I do the training. Because I have a, I have a vision about what type of martial artist, what type of personality, or, or let's say like this, I would like to be in when it comes to the martial arts. Okay? So, is this the only way uh, to do the training? Of course not, like I just said before. Yeah, then afterwards, after finishing my morning routine, meaning also like with Shen together, I don't know, the next thing that happens is after you have completely sweated, you know you have done the work, maybe there is like a sense of pride. A sense of pride that, okay, I mean, the day has just begun. It's eight o'clock in the morning. The whole day is still in front of you, but you have already achieved something. You have already, in the first hours, challenged yourself, pushed yourself. At the end, actually did something good for the body because of the movement, did something good for, let's say, your breathing apparatus because you learned to regulate the breath did something good for the flexibility of the body, did something good in order to increase the strength that you have. It's good. For me, this is a good start in the day. So, and then afterwards, normally uh, I just take a shower, go then down into the office again, prepare maybe another cup of tea, or sometimes also a cup of coffee. And then I have like one hour, two hours sometimes, I do the office work. Yeah. So, and also there, uh, I have limited the time that I'm spending in front of the screen, like I said, one hour, two hour maximum in that morning. Maximum. What I, what I cannot answer in those two hours, I have scheduled it at a, at a later point in time. So meaning the first thing that when I look at the, at the inbox is I'm just flying over everything and looking for myself which one has a priority. Which one has a priority that in the best case I can answer right away now in the morning. And so this is what I do. All the other ones mm, where, where I feel like mm, there is no time pressure. Yeah. I move it to, to another time. Yeah. So, and this is how very structured I have the way how I wake up, how I make my training, how I do the office work. Okay. Because then latest around 11 o'clock, normally I then also drive out here to the temple, either having private lessons if there are private students or also just like talking to people here about how how are things going and then normally the schedule of the monastery just starts to starts to take place which means if we are having guests over here then in the afternoon sometimes I have training okay and then I mostly stay until around six o'clock sometimes seven o'clock in the evening drive home to uh, visit, for example, also the abbot of our monastery and having conversations with him, looking, exchanging ideas, what might be like the next steps. And then already the evening has come and the next, the next training is happening. Yeah and then just the day repeats again. Thank you so much for watching this with Master Shahangi. What's really cool, if people don't know this, but me and Master Shahangi talk back and forwards about training. 
not just Shaolin training, but he takes an interest in all different types of training. So my sister is a power lifter as well, and he asks her questions about her training, how she builds strength, and he is analyzing all the time how he can implement different training practices into his Shaolin routine. He knows that my sister and I are really, really strong. He wants to figure out how that happened. So he asks us about our nutrition, our diet. As plant-based athletes, he wants to know like what are we consuming for our protein, our nutrients, and all that kind of stuff. So it's really cool. He is like an absolute, um, what would you call it? He's like a student to all different types of disciplines, not just Shaolin teachings. So it's absolutely fantastic to be able to dissect his routine and he does add stuff in there all the time. So it's fantastic. It's not all about staying in a fixed thing. It's great to have discipline, but be open to adding things to that all the time, like Master Shi Hung Yi. Today's video was sponsored by Huel. I absolutely love these. These have been a great supplement for me, but also a time saver when I need a nutritious meal in a hurry. They are today's sponsor. Use code Jordan Mulligan 10 with the link down below. And also I wanna say thank you to everybody who supported us at mulliganbrothers.com throughout January. It's been absolutely crazy. We're almost sold out of the uh, posters and journals. It's still on sale using code 2024 at checkout as well. Uh, to make this possible, you know, you guys know we fly a full film crew. We have 10 people here who, you know, we fly around the world to make these projects with all our film crew, all our cameras, everything. And to make that happen is very, very difficult. So we're very, very fortunate we have sponsors and we're very fortunate you guys support us on mulliganbrothers.com. So thank you so much for the support as always. And uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. We wanna get that up to 15% of you guys at least this year. And go to Spotify if you haven't, if you wanted to link, uh, listen to it in a long form. Um, yeah, I've listed a lot of things there, guys, and I'll end on this one. We have a really, really cool project coming out with Master Shi Yi. It's coming out in February. It's an anniversary for him, and it's like a project you've never seen before. A lot of stuff's gone into making this happen. There's actually a original score going on in that film as well. So if you want to find out more about that, go to mulliganmothers.com and hit the notification bell as well on there. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you gained something from this video. Have a blessed and productive day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.